It's a dating sim. And now we date. Um, Grom. All right. We're, we're heading neck deep in. So you're going with Trapper? Nope. I'm probably going to fucking do Hunters first, I'll be honest. Wake up on the beach, soaking wet, salt water stinging in the inside of your throat as if you'd nearly drowned. Water falls from your mouth as you open it to gasp for air. You have no memory of how you got here. In fact, you can only remember your own name, but not where you came from, or a single fact about your life. God damn it, we start with amnesia! What you do know is that, despite the outrageous beauty of the landscape around you, you feel incredibly sick to your stomach. <coughs> wow, really went down the wrong pipe, huh? You need a minute, or can I go on? Fucking self-aware narrator. Because I can give you a minute. We've got plenty of time. Endless time, really. An eternity, if you catch my drift. Whoa, not now, Ocean. Sorry, Grom. May I continue? Please go on. Okay, then. As I was... <coughs> as I was saying... You look down at your feet, ankle-deep in the crystal blue water of a newly arrived wave. As the water recedes back into the ocean, it reveals a grotesque discovery. Oh shit, it's one of the zombies from Nemesis. A decomposing face stares at, up at you from beneath the sand. All you can do is vomit, a stream of dark bile, bugs, worms, and other... Ick. Questions race through your mind. Where are you? How did you get here? Who's behind this incredibly charming and well-spoken voice in your head? Just for that self-aware voice, I'm now going to narrate you with the, like, most disturbing voice I can think of. However, as you don't come easy, your mind is completely blank. What will you do? I'm going to dig up this head. You wash your head away from the head, bury you and head and burn it in the ground before you. There's no money. Just his head. As you pick it up, flakes of skin fall to the ground. The jaw falls open, revealing a gold coin sitting on the rotting tongue of this poor dead soul. Getting your hands dirty, I see. I like that. You're a take charge type. Give me the coin. You examine the gold coin briefly, happily distracted from what has otherwise been an extremely confusing morning. Sun beats down on you drawing your clothes. You check your pockets, but they're empty. Plenty of room for a gold coin, you suppose, and so you deposit it. Cool, I'll be able to spawn two more chests. Hope I find a medkit. Why, that's a nice coin you got there. What if you were to spend it right now? No oh, thanks. Look, I'm going to level with you here. That coin you found is mine. I dropped it yesterday. I've been looking all over for it. Dropped it into a dead person's mouth. Could you just give it back? No. Psh, be that way, then. Your mind doesn't have a chance to linger any longer on your current situation as you feel something soft bump into your feet. When you look down, you find a volleyball sitting near the sand there next to you. Stare down frozen. Voice out calls out from behind you. Will help, please? There she is. You turn around and when you see what's waiting for you, your jaw just about hits the ground and drops a coin. Huntress, Wraith, Spirit, and Trapper. Hello, Ray. <laughs> Four gorgeous monsters stand halfway between you and a well-tended volleyball court. Just choose one of them and stare at them as they blink at you. Yeah, any one of them. It's up to you. Or you can swap between them. That's also fine. Each of them oozes with undead energy. Magical aura reaching out and penetrating you via your eyes. Your heart begins to race. Curiosity, fear, desire... Get upstairs, these casually dressed, let's call them killers. Oh no, not to be judgmental, but that's just the energy they put out there. So many competing feelings rush through your mind at once, so you are completely paralyzed. You see, Ray, uh, the reason I'm doing this voice is because the self-aware narrator tried to insinuate that their voice was really pretty, so I changed my voice to be as horrible as possible, just to spite the narrator. That is why I'm doing the fucking chain smoker voice, in case you are curious. By the way, this game was made by the same folks who made, uh, be because, I don't know. But, uh, this is made by the same folks who made that, uh, fucking KFC dating sim. So many competing feelings rush through your mind at once, how you were completely paralyzed. Hello? These are weird days, and then there's this. All you can do is look down at the ball and back up at this monstrous lineup of... Well, literal monsters. Sexiest monsters, though. 
What do you do? You bend down and grab the ball. It's warm from sitting on the sand on this beautiful day. When you give the ball toss, it hawks beautifully through the air and lands right in Andres' hands. Not bad, stranger. Andres' muscles ripple as she grips it in her hand. You look her up and down and consider what it might be like to be held tightly in those strong arms. Or oh, perhaps maybe a little sweaty, but that's okay. It's natural. I heard much blick. It's speaking directly to you, but you still can't bring yourself to reply. You're entranced. When you snap out of it, you realize that everyone has gone back to the volleyball court. Alone again, you look across the beach as these strange residents who casually bat a volleyball back and forth, happily ignoring your intrusion onto their private beach. Should you be frightened, worried, excited? I did refer to them as killers because this is this is literally based on a game where you murder each other. These are for the characters that do the murdering, but don't worry about it at all. I'm totally not misleading you. But at the same time, damn, they're looking very appealing in their own way. And nobody so much as lifted a blood-soaked finger in your direction. Don't be scared, Grom. You were made for this. Well, jeez. If this spooky ocean voice says not to be scared, I'm sure it's all going to work out. With no good reason not to, you decide to head over and see what happens next. Seems like you derailed the volleyball game just by showing up. You've derailed the game just by showing up, did what? I need it. I need to get the voices clear for all the characters. I'm gonna go with like Gaston as best as possible for him, just like that sort of like confident voice. And I guess you're also a nitwit. Said the nitwit. Look, it's best to just go with what Trapper says when he says it. That's a policy I hold for pretty much anyone who always seems to have fresh blood on their hands. Hey. Don't worry about it. It's all just a game. Existence, that is. Besides, you seem a lot more interesting than a silly game. What's your deal? What brings you here? You mean the head to do more than distract from my total domination? That was Wraith. That was Wraith. They saw he means he was done with the game, too. Either that or he saw a butterfly or some. Look, I don't care what this slackjawed moron is here. I just want to know, can I kill them or not? You know you can't. At least not yet. Oh yeah, not yet. Hey Grom, you might want to, you know, say something. Actually, never mind, there'll be plenty of time for that soon enough. Let me move along the narrative right now, because they got a bunch of questions to ask you. But be warned, answer quickly and answer well. This is a timed quiz, and it will be very important later. Very important. Or not important in any way whatsoever. Probably that one. I can't remember. Trapper flexes that his muscles are so tight you can practically see the blood running through his veins. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? Um... Flight, for sure. Technically, I suppose I can fly. Honestly, it's not all that it's cracked up to be. As far as I go, I'm still nowhere I want to be. What was your best subject in school? Eh, yeah, unironically math. Probably math. It's the only thing that makes sense when you think about it. What's your favorite animal? The fuck is a mustelid? Dog? You'd look absolutely adorable in a little puppy mask. What's your favorite color? Red. Cause it makes everything up faster! Yeah! Some call it the color of love, but love is just another word for pain. What's your dream job? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I feel like you're doing it with not working at all. It's probably the worst option. Definitely nightclub promoter. What? How did I do that one? <laughs> I don't even have a single save. 
<laughs> no, I, I refuse. I refuse. None of that happened. None of that is canon. I'll do every I'll do everything the same except for that one. I'll pick the same options except for that last one. I'm going out with my first gut instinct not working at all. We get to do what we really want, why work at all? Takes a lot of courage to break free from society's expectations to climb the ladder. <sighs> yes, Penguin, how did you know? I totally didn't delay playing this game twice in a row. Only she could spin laziness into some kind of grand crusade, these damned millennials. Ah! Trapper's a boomer! Best flavor of ice cream! More of a vanilla guy. Vanilla? My favorite flavor is pain! Same. Same here. Mm. Mine is vanilla swirled with pain. I think I think mint chip is the greatest flavor I ever conceived myself. But enough about ice cream, am I right? Hold on a second. This reminds me. I am right. Always. It's a lesson you should learn before we go too much further. Do what I say if you want to survive. Pick mint chip. We're teaching lessons now, narrator. You rascal. Kill or be killed is the rule on this island, even for faceless voices. Tell me, what's your best flavor of ice cream? Best flavor is vanilla. Got a reading comprehension problem? I just saw you mint chip with where it's at. I, un I unironically just don't like mint. I don't I don't enjoy mint. You almost bought yourself a game over there, buddy. That's right. I can end your life whenever I want to. Oh, I mean the control. So don't you forget it. If I say you like mint chip, you like mint chip. Now try it again. Tell me, what's the best flavor of ice cream? Vanilla. A rebel, eh? Not my dating sim. You have to understand, it feels very good to end up someone else's game. You should try it sometime. Okay, I guess that's the end of it. Thank you everyone for playing, I refuse to uh, abide by whatever the fuck that motherfucker- Alright. You legitimately game over from not agreeing with the entity. Bye! <laughs>